In the August of 1990, two hikers near Carvin in Scotland took a photograph of a mysterious flying object in the sky. The photograph was lost for decades and became the object of much speculation and many conspiracy theories. The photographers remain unknown to this day and claim they watched the metallic object hovering with a low hum for around 10 minutes while fighter jets made passes in the distance. The photographers were completely awestruck when the object of around 100 feet in length suddenly shot straight up into the sky and out of sight. After several years of searching and research, researcher and journalist Dr. David Clock was successful in unearthing the Carvin photograph, an image that was believed to be lost for decades. In the picture, a large angular object is clearly visible with a Harrier jet in the background. The photographers snapped six shots of the diamond-shaped object with a jet fighter in the backdrop. The Scotland's Daily Record newspaper obtained the photos and shared them with the Ministry of Defence. However, for reasons unknown, the newspaper never published the story. It was then that the urban legend of the Carvin photograph came into being, with the photos staying hidden from public view until now. Dr. Clock, known for his work in the Ministry of Defence UFO Files project, at the National Archives, and being an associate professor from Sheffield Hallam University, was able to locate the photograph by tracking down former RAF press officer Craig Lindsay in 1990, when the initial story was investigated. Mr. Lindsay played a major role as the mediator between the press and the Ministry of Defense. He kept a copy of the original photograph from Carvin. It has often been reported that a giant poster-sized version of the famous Carvin photo once hung on the wall at the MOD's UFO office, leading to the legend associated with it. Mysteriously, this poster was removed without a trace. It is a story often told by Nick Pope who worked to investigate UFOs for the MOD in the 90s and worked in Whitehall until 2004, who first revealed the tale in his 1996 book Open Skies, Closed Minds. Mr. Pope claims the UK asked the US if the photo showed an experimental aircraft, only for the image to then be taken away and never seen again. And to further add to the mystery, the MOD decided to withhold certain details of the case until 2076. Despite speculations, the angular shape seen in the Carvin photo has yet to be identified. Some theories suggest it could be a hoax, a previously unknown technology, or even an alien spacecraft. But no concrete evidence is available to prove any of these. The true nature of the large object remains unknown as according to the Ministry of Defense records from the same period there was no definite conclusion regarding the large object. It is believed that the craft may be an experimental aircraft of the US, possibly being a black project, referred to as the Aurora. Mr. Pope has previously claimed the poster-sized Carvin photo was removed from the MOD after a diplomatic row with the US. He claims the UK asked the US if the photo showed their prototype Aurora spy plane with Secretary of the U.S. Air Force Donald Rice becoming incensed by the questions. In the aftermath of the dispute, the photograph was taken away and never seen again. In February 1993, Lord Kennett asked the House of Lords whether U.S. experimental aircraft were allowed to fly over the U.K., something which was denied by the MOD. And three years later, Martin Redmond MP asked about the Carvin incident, but was told by Nicholas Somers the Armed Forces Minister, there was nothing of defence significance in the photo. Graham Rendell from UAP Media UK mentioned that although there is still no answer as to what the mysterious object seen over Carvin in August 1990 could be, or who it belonged to, the research done provided a crucial contribution in solving the puzzle. Dan Zetterstrom, also from the group, added, the Carvin photograph stands as one of the biggest mysteries in UFO history. Finally revealed after 32 years, it shows that answers only bring new questions.